To 7 News at 6, we are about to talk about a topic that's difficult to discuss, but a reality for many women, even in the U.S. The World Health Organization and the CDC shows the number of cases of female genital mutilation is increasing. And the issue is having an impact in the U.S. Our Georgia Ree Godfrey explains a bill aimed at preventing the procedure here. More than a dozen states have legislation in place that bans female genital mutilation. And now a South Carolina lawmaker is looking to add the state to that list. It is a very barbaric and cruel practice that um, is prevalent in certain countries around the world. While prevalent in other countries, data from the CDC shows that more than 500,000 women in the United States have undergone female genital mutilation or FGM. Most recently, a major shift at the federal level put the power to ban FGM in the state's hands. There was a federal prohibition, and then that was struck down by a federal judge who said it was unconstitutional due to interstate commerce, and that it needed to be handled on a state-by-state -state case. A bill filed in the House would ban FGM for women under the age of 18 and introduce criminal penalties if the procedure is done. Our state government exists to protect those who are most innocent and most vulnerable, and this bill is directed to protect young women from harm to their bodies. The World Health Organization reports the most common reasons for FGM include religious and cultural backgrounds, but this bill doesn't allow for any exceptions. Regardless of somebody's cultural background, they're not harming anyone, uh, certainly not a young child that is innocent and uh, doesn't have any way really to object. Neighboring state Georgia has already passed legislation that bans FGM and currently a bill in North Carolina is being discussed by lawmakers. In Columbia, George R. Godfrey, 7 News. This bill, if passed, would not apply to women 18 and older. In addition to criminal penalties, any physician who performs the surgery would have their professional licenses and certifications revoked.